everyone, I'm Haley, this is Activities 101, and today I am in one of those sections where I just keep on filming and filming and filming all day because I have nothing else to do. So today is one of those days and I'm bored and I was looking back at my old videos and I was like, I did a little while ago a what to be when you're bored. That was a long time ago, kind of. It was a long time ago, about a year ago. I did a what to read when you're bored. And I liked that video because it was fun for me. I got to review and recommend some books for you guys. But since then, I have expanded my book genre. I've expanded my books. I've read a lot more, we'll put it that way. And I have some more books to review and recommend for you guys that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I decided to make a What to Read When You're Bored part two. This is a part two to the first one because there's so many more books I did not review in part one. And so I feel like it's just right to make a part two and share with you some more awesome books. If you're new, make sure to subscribe down below. The button's right down there. And also, if you guys like books, like this video because this might turn into a series of what to read when you're bored or review and recommend books. I love making these book videos because it inspires me. When I keep making these book videos and I get to review all the books I've read, it's a big accomplishment for me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I read these books. I can read more. So. It's fun for both of us. You get to learn about new books and I get to review the accomplishments I made in the last year. So, this is great. Um, let's just get right into it. Let's get right, get right into the first book because I'm so excited about this first book. I touched upon this series in the first video, but and I went a little bit into detail with that one, but I'm just gonna say it out the Harry Potter series. I touched on this in the first video, um, and back in the first video, I was on the fourth book, but now I'm on to the sixth book. I have not finished this book, but I'm gonna review the fifth book, the fourth book. And now I've, I'm almost, I have one more book in the series until I'm completely done with the Harry Potter series. So I feel like I'm a little bit more, like I have a little bit more experience to talk about the Harry Potter series. If it's a very common series, you guys have heard of it. I know if you haven't heard of the Harry Potter series or read it, you have to read it at first. So this book is very intimidating. Put that out there. Like, it's, let's see how many pages this is. I think I went over how, how intimidating the series was in the first one too. I'm just like, okay, 652 pages, which is a lot of pages. But when you first get started, it kind of goes, from small to large. So this is one of the last few books in the series. But if you're just reading out the first book, and it definitely is a series, like you, you can't not read it in order from one to seven. There's seven total books. You cannot read it in order from one to seven. No, you have to read it in order from one to seven. You can't skip around because it's a very big series, 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 series. And it's very adventurous, definitely fiction, obviously, but it definitely is interesting. As you get up into middle school, I'm in a rising eighth grader, so this is crazy. I'm pretty sure when I made this book video, I was in sixth grade, which is ridiculously crazy. But this is super entertaining for, I feel like, I'm just going to estimate here because obviously I'm not this old, but... I feel like this would be interesting up into your adult. Like, it's kind of more in the challenging side of reading. So it definitely can be interesting for really any age from like fifth grade. I don't even know, like all up to your adult. Like, I don't even, like, it's just a very interesting book. And the series, I'm a very slow reader. So this series has taken me a long time to complete. And even this book is very intimidating for me. So if you're a slow reader, this can occupy you 
for months and months on end and you really never run out of books so yeah i know i've already touched upon this in the first one this is called the harry potter harry potter and the half blood prince this is the kind of harry potter the character here as well as it being a series one to seven it's also like harry potter's growing up in the in the series so it's kind of like from harry potter's from when he was a child kind of going up so it definitely is very seriesy like it's very cool to read through the series and you get to see harry potter grow up also a little fun perk of reading the harry potter series is there's also movies so after you finish a book you can watch the movie which is great it definitely is like very entertaining to watch the movie after you've read the book and you can go over everything you've read so i would definitely recommend this to anybody i rate the harry potter series like a 9 out of 10 it is so interesting keeps me busy for a while and although the books can seem a little bit intimidating if you just start they are so interesting and yeah so yeah definitely look into this if you haven't read this if you haven't read the harry potter series look into it please because it's so amazing and yeah and another book that's like the harry potter series that i did touch on in the last video was also percy jackson per <laughs> percy jackson so these are two books i touched on in the first video that if you haven't read i'm just touching on it again i've read some more of these so i kind of i'm back when i was doing this i was kind of in the beginning of book four and in the beginning of book one but now i've read some more and i know that these are really good series and they're very alike so definitely check them out if you haven't read them yet okay enough with harry potter and percy jackson let's move on to the next one this one is kind of a dark topic but it's definitely fiction don't worry it's fiction i bet this book i saw a lot over all over youtube as like the number one book you should read if you are in middle school and above like definitely don't take my word for the rating of this because it's definitely very like mature i don't even really know how old like what the yeah i would definitely like make sure <laughs> because me over here i'm just talking about this book that might be like 15 up but it's okay um it is called a good girl's guide to murder um this the author is holly jackson she also wrote another book called good girl bad blood and i have personally read this one it's very good it's very mature if you are 11 12 13 my age category um i would i would get a parent's suggestion first because this is this is a very heavy topic just as in like it's very mature it talks about some mature stuff in here i'm not trying to be that person that's like oh my goodness like this is this is you're not old enough and stuff i'm trying to be that person that's warning you like if you read this i would double check because this is very it talks about a lot of things it's very mature so yeah we're gonna go with this one it's very good i'm gonna rate this book at a seven and a half out of nine it's very good um yeah definitely check this out and it's great that's kind of all i have to say about this book let's move on okay the next book is also very mature it is the author of this book is laura no nolan i don't really know how to pronounce that no laura nolan this book is called if you have been with me this is just a singular book it's not a series but it is if you're looking for something that's more mature on the mature side and kind of if you're moving into young adult books and you want something that's more on the mature side 
which is great. This is a New York Times bestseller. I'm gonna read this little snippet right up here. If you had been with me, everything would have been different. A little sneak peek into this. And yeah, this is a great book as well. Definitely would recommend it. And really to anybody who wants to hop into the mature set of books, this is a great one. And yeah, I'm gonna rate this book about a like eight out of 10. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I would check it out if you have not checked it out yet. But yeah, that's kind of all I have to say about these books. I'm kind of just like putting it out there for you to maybe check out and then like just kind of like putting it aside. But the next few books are on my iPad. I do a lot of digital reading nowadays. So some of these books are gonna be on my iPad. So let's just, let's pull up these books here. And I use Apple Books. So I was actually just reading this, but let's just, my goodness, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. Mm, I'm trying to get back to the, um, I've already bookmarked it, but book, bookmarked it by the way. I've just been reading the sample, but I'm at like, I don't even get it. I think this is like messed up or something. The sample to this, I'm at page like 100. I don't even really know how, pages, how many pages this is. And I'm still on the sample. So yeah, it's really great. Icebreaker. You probably heard about this book. It's a wonderful book. It's also mature. It is written by Anna Anna Grace. It's also a New York Times bestseller, and I would really recommend this. Recommend this for a middle school age and up, eighth grade up, kind of like that. But yeah, it's very cute. It's on the romance side of things, but also yeah, it's more on the romance side of things. But I would definitely recommend this. I'm gonna rate Icebreakers, Icebreaker about a eight out of 10. It's great, I recommend it. Definitely check it out if you haven't read it yet. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. And then, one minute. Gotta get back to the front page so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay. I cannot get back to, okay, Hush by Jacqueline Woodson. Hush is also a great book. I've just started reading it. But I recommend it because just from the beginning of it, it's very interesting. And yeah, it's great. I would definitely recommend this book. It's also mature in the terms of its like difficulty level. It's very mature. But I would definitely I would definitely recommend it. But kind of this is one of my this is my last book. So um yeah. This kind of concludes our book. I'd I have not finished this book. Some of these books I have not finished. So, reading off of what I've read so far, six out of it, 10. It's not the best, but I would still recommend it. That's kind of what I'm at right now. Called Hush by Jacqueline Woodson. And I will put all of these book titles in the description for you guys to check out and go and check out the books. And yeah, that kind of concludes this video. I hope you guys liked What to Read When You're Bored Part 2. Let me know. I don't know if I should do, if this video gets 50 likes, I will do a part three. Um, yeah, 
So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.